It is Wednesday, November 16th, 2016, and welcome to this episode of Code Evolution. Well, I thought I was done making videos for the day, but uh, I noticed when I was doing some code editing that TypeScript 2.1.1 is out. So I wanted to go ahead and, you know, I guess you could call this a an unboxing for coders. And let's see what happens when we try to use this. Uh, first things first, um, uh, WebStorm has uh, 2.0.8 currently um, embedded, but so we need the, the latest. So we're going to do Now the nice thing about uh, WebStorm these days is if you let's let's just double check our versions first. Yeah, see this is funny. Uh, I just updated it on a different project, so let's do something better. Two point one point one. There we go. So this is a basically a dream come true for a lot of people. Um, it's been around in TypeScript, but um, for those who, who don't know, you know, it's been around in TypeScript, but they haven't released it for ES5, and it was scheduled to be released uh, for ES5 um, with 2.1. So let's find out. Uh, first thing we need to do is fake some functions here. Okay, and then console.log x is our intention. Um, we're not gonna get what we wanted, but now no complaints. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, silly me. <laughs> I need to, uh, I wonder we're not getting any problems here. And sure, let's, let's go with this. Um, yeah, I'm curious, okay. Oh, all right. So far, so good. Everything's compiling. What? Whoa! Holy wow! Wow! Impressive. So, yes. Um. It. It's gonna. It looks like it'll work. So here's the thing that they were waiting on for this to work, and that was to have generators in TypeScript. Um, and they needed that <clears throat> to have a waiter, uh, to have these waiters work. Uh, wow. Um, so yeah, I have like a state machine. <sighs> you guys, I love you guys. <laughs> this is awesome. This is, this is a new age in, in web development. Um, uh, you know, or even no development at this point. This is amazing. Um, so, you know, again, this was kind of an unboxing of this feature and this functionality um, so excited I, I i don't know what to say other than if you are working with uh asynchronous code um this is your you know this is your magic hammer you know this is the the thing you've been waiting for uh in so many ways so um try it out and just a kind of quick review for you know if, if you know about async await and you're just clapping your hands going, yay, it works the way I've been waiting, I've been waiting for this forever, yay. Um, then uh, definitely, you know, you can you can stop the video now. Uh, please like if this, if this is great uh, for you. Otherwise, you know, for people who are new to async await, the thing you have to uh, understand is this can save you an extreme amount of code and frustration because with async await, you're able to uh, write, uh, like for example, let's say that this was, um, in fact, you know, we, we could even just kind of do a little bit more here. Let's say that test async, it just, re let's say that the promise, it's a promise that returns um, a, a random number, right? At, at some point in the future. Okay, what that means is, is that, you know, we could say random, right? 
and then we could sit here and in a very synchronous way uh, well we don't even have to do we ran it we could just say hey in a very synchronous way we could sit here and return uh, this th three random numbers you know um, we could do things like uh, four uh, let's say you know uh, let's do it ten times right And then let's look at our code. Wow, that's so crazy. Yeah, that's just crazy. So this incredible work of, uh, of a statement, this basically took, you know, <laughs> I mean, look at the difference here, right? Let, let's essentially how much code uh, that this is essentially converting to in ES5. Um, it's a, a much less in ES6, and we can actually go ahead and just review uh, the difference here. We'll, we'll do an ES6 uh, conversion. Much less, right? Because um, there is such a thing as generators in ES6. So they basically had to fake generators, uh, which is just incredible. It's amazing. Um, now that poses an interesting question for me. Uh, I wanna know our generators an option now. So we would write a generator function as star, uh, and then what is it, uh, you know, test generator. We get on here, generators only available. Okay, so real generators are not available. Um, and they can't trans they can't transcode it properly, but this is their essentially their fake uh, version of generators to that's being piped through to make uh, async await work. So yeah, that's it. I think I'm gonna wrap it up. <laughs> this is my second video for today. Um, uh, you know, I hope you guys uh, appreciate. You know, this is a time for celebration for as if you're a coder, being able to do this kind of stuff in the web. You know, it's a huge deal. And, uh, you know, give this video a like if it helped you. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more like this. Thank you.